Pang ilan apostol na ba to? Siguro malapit na po pang siguro pang shampo. No? Out of 11 kasi wala po si St. Matthias pero pumasok si St. Mary Magdalene. Baka po pang pang 8, siguro pang 8 na to. Um, so um si St. Thomas Aquin, Aquin Astoloid, Thomas of Galilee. Katatapos lang po natin, no? July 3. He is called the twin. Alam nyo, sa paghahanda kong ganito, ako mismo natututo eh. Hindi ko inaakala na marami akong pwede talagang makilala pa sa sabihin natin mga pillars of our faith. Kasi siguro ating alam, Mostly, at least ako, biblical. Pero yung historical, ito po ang ating gusto ring talakayin. So, okay. Who is the so-called Didymos? Yun po ang Greek meaning of the twin. Pero tingnan po natin, i-discover natin. Alam nyo, sa gospel ni John, nung si Jesus ay papunta sa Bethany, piyesta po bukas ni Martha of Bethany, alam nyo po bang sabi niya, He's already dead. Sabi ni Thomas, let's go and die with him. Let us also go to die with him. Galing, no? Pero mas kilala siya as the doubting Thomas, di ba? Skeptic in a way, no? Siguro it is evolving from the fact na he wanted proof of the resurrected Christ. Ito lang po ang mad ang ating alam somehow about him. Pero he is mentioned nevertheless eight times in the whole New Testament and four of those are the list of the twelve apostles. Uh, pag sinabi pong listahan, wala po yung listahan si John, yung gospel. Pero may listahan yung Acts of the Apostles na pareho din ang author with the gospel of Luke. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, and the Acts have the list of the apostles. So, um, paano natin if we fill up ang at least details? Well, beyond the cautious approach of believing in the resurrection, no, we can have more, I think, to understand about bakit ninarate itong event na doubting Thomas. Kasi, It's a lesson for us because we have not seen and yet believed. You know, sabi ni Jesus eh, blessed are those, blessed those who have not seen and yet believed. Sino yun? Ako, kayo. We have not seen Jesus, the resurrected one, pero we believe. And so, this is the service that in a way, the caution of John, his approach of caution in believing is... Somehow, a good foundation for evidence-based faith. No, so next po is anjan si Thomas. Um, yung ka yung pangyayaring ito. Pero ito po ang natutunan ko yung pangalan niya. Actually, pala yung Thomas is also meaning the twin. Sa maraming manuscripts, ang Aramaic word Teoma, Thomas, no? is meaning twin. So para i-clarify na we're really talking about this person, binigyan pa siya ng isang bansag na in Greek, Didymos. But again, Didymos in Greek means twin. So sino ba si Thomas if not the twin? So... Sino kaya ang kanyang katwin? <laughs> Hindi rin natin alam. Okay? So, ang tawag sa kanya, twin. Twin. So, parang pag binasa mo, he is called the twin. The twin is called the twin. No. Thomas called the twin. Eh, teo, teoma, twin, is also twin. Anyway, Huwag na natin masyadong hanapin. Pero kita niya po, brothers and sisters, ang ganda na naman ng Caravaggio painting. No? 
pinapasok ni Jesus sa kanyang tagiliran ang dalirit kamay ni Thomas. Ano ibig sabihin yan? Di ba sabi? Faith evidence, no? Ebidensya na meron talagang totoong ganyan. Mga kapatid, alam nyo, yung resurrected body ni Kristo, merong sugat. Sugatan pa rin, hindi pala perfect pagkatapos ng kanyang kamatayan. Wala na siyang sugat. Nako, pati ang kanyang kamay. No? Pati yung ating mga announcement po dito sa ating misa, nakita niyo yung kamay na may butas. Yung palad na may butas. Yan. Ano ba ang katawan ni Kristo kundi ang simbahan? We are the body of Christ. Hindi ba't sugatan talaga ang body of Christ na tayo yon? I think that is something to ponder upon. And that is part of our faith. We don't believe only in Jesus Christ our Lord who rose from the dead on the third day ascended into heaven. But we also believe in the one holy, catholic, apostolic church. We are that one, a communion of saints. And yet, we are also a communion of sinful people. Sugatan po tayo. We have our own woundedness. We have our own sinfulness. And yet, Jesus continues to associate himself with us. Hindi niya iniitsya puwera tayo or hindi niya sinasabi, ah, hindi akin yan. Hindi ko yan simban. That's my church. That's my people. Sa aking palagay, mas meaningful po yung sinabi ni Thomas, my Lord and my God. The Lordship and the Divinity of God. Ibang-iba po sa atin na gusto palagi ang perfect at ang malinis. And labas po natin tayo yung mga makasalanan eh, parang kinagawa natin nagmamalinis lang tayo. Kasi sa nabasa ko kahapon, no one is innocent. We are all sinful people. Wala po. No one is without debts. We are all having debts. Yon. And so we pray, forgive us our debts. Ang ating pagkakautang, ang ating pagkakasala. Let's go now sa kanyang kamatayan. Kita nyo, from such a minor apostle, church tradition is consistent about his death. The 3rd of July, he was pierced with a lance in India. Okay? So, meron po tayo mga Syro Malabar. No? Yan ang tinatawag nila. Martyred by a spears in Mylapore, India. There is no other tradition existing about Thomas' death except this one. And you see, uh, famous painters now this time like Peter Paul Rubens uh, in the same school of the Chiaroscuro pero mas dramatic po si Caravaggio. But he is also a very, very famous painter. Millions of dollars po ang kanya mga murals si Peter Paul Rubens. Yan. So July 3 katatapos lang po ng piyesta. Itong misyonero ni Cristo na nagpunta Hanggang umabot siya sa Asia, hindi lang Asia Minor, pero Asia itself, in India, died also a martyr's death. So, yan po ang ating uh, apostle for today. See you again tomorrow for our ninth apostle. Kasi by Friday po, meron tayong 11 apostles. Pero dinagdag natin po si Mary of Magdala, kaya labing dalawa sila. The apostle to the apostles. The one that Jesus sent, di ba, to tell his brothers that he is risen, is Mary of Magdala. Meron pong konting twist 
ang ating storya. God bless. God bless you all.